What is adaptive auto serve? What is the difference between classic auto serve and adaptive auto serve? Let's try to find answers to this question in our today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to Link Frequency and I'm Aishwarya Pattar. This video is part of our course that is introduction to auto serve. So without any further delay, let's get started. types of autosar architecture named as classic autosar and adaptive autosar the classic autosar has all the modules which are generally required for the application whereas the adaptive autosar can be configured and adapted according to the application by removing unnecessary modules when the autosar was introduced in 2002 that is the classic autosar the idea was to bring about standardization in the development of automotive software when it was established, it was believed that the architecture will not require any kind of updates in the near future. However, with tremendous improvements and advancements in vehicle technology in the past few years, the automotive software also required some sort of update and modification. Hence, Adaptive Autosac came up with certain flexibilities since it needed advancement in vehicle technologies such as high-performance embedded computing and automotive Ethernet. The Adaptive Autosar was designed for simple and improved architecture to support the complex softwares. The Adaptive Autosar gives the vehicle manufacturers an ability to create systems that can run fast and more efficient. Overall, we can sum it up as, the Classic Autosar was the first standardized software architecture for its use and then the Adaptive Autosar just provides a new architecture to meet the new OEM requirements. This design was prepared or made keeping in mind the future scope of ECU developments. Now, let us move on to our next question that is, what is the difference between Classic Autosar and Adaptive Autosar? The first difference is based on release dates. Classic Autosar started in 2002, whereas Adaptive Autosar started recently in 2017. Moving on to our second difference that is, the programming language used. In Classic Autosar, we have C programming. Whereas in Adaptive Autosar, it has C++ programming language being used. The third difference is based on the ECU. Classic Autosar is meant for deeply embedded ECUs, whereas Adaptive Autosar is intended for a new generation of ECUs. Moving on to our next difference, that is the fourth difference is based on updates management. Update in Classic platform implies replacement of entire ECU code, whereas the adaptive platform offers the option of removing, updating or adding individual applications. The fifth difference is based on scheduling. In Classic Autosar, applications utilize Autosar RTE for scheduling of software components and communication between them. Whereas the adaptive Autosar, applications utilize the operating systems for scheduling and communication. Going on to our sixth difference, which is based on communication protocol. In Classic Autosar, the communication is signal-based and is achieved by the communication bus network such as CAN, LIN, etc. Whereas in Adaptive Autosar, it is service-based communication which utilizes Ethernet and some IP as physical medium. Going on to our next difference, the seventh difference is based on operating systems. Classic Autosar runs on OS EK based operating system, whereas the Adaptive Autosar runs on POS IX based operating system. Moving ahead with 8th difference that is based on application execution. In Classic Autosar, the code is executed from ROM directly, whereas in Adaptive Autosar, the code is moved from ROM to RAM and then executed. The 9th difference is based on safety level. Classic Autosar supports up to SLD, whereas Adaptive Autosar supports up to SLB. The 10th difference is based on flexibility on software updates. Software update at runtime is not possible in Classic Autosar. Communication between the software components are hardwired. Whereas on the other hand, over-the-air update is possible in Adaptive Autosar, since RTE is independent of the applications. Last but not the least, 11th difference is use case. Classic Autosar is used in sensors and actuators interfacing, whereas the Adaptive Autosar is used in ADAS, AI, ML, etc. for complex issue development. 
Thank you so much for watching our video. If there are any queries related to the video content, you can surely comment down in the comment section. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.